Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to rank your YouTube videos fast in 2020. At this point, I'm pulling in about $20 a day off of YouTube views via AdSense. And the videos that are making me the most money are my videos that are ranked first on YouTube search. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys some YouTube SEO tips and give you guys advice on how you guys could rank your videos higher. All right, so let me just start by showing you guys some of the videos that I ranked high for. So let's type in Amazon credit card and you'll see with this very broad term that people are getting over 200,000 views on. If you scroll down a little bit, I am on the first page. Now, if you type in that plus review, I'm ranked a little bit higher because that is the keyword that I was attempting to go for and I am on the top five. So let's type in how to create a crew in GTA 5 online. As you can see, I am ranked number one at 1.4 million views. If you guys wanna see the breakdown on how much I'm making per video, I'll leave an annotation on the top right of the screen. Let's also type in how to sell on eBay. As you can see, my video is number two at 46 thousand views and last example how to change your youtube url as you can see i am ranked number three at sixty nine thousand views so how am i doing this so let's research my amazon credit card review video so i'm gonna click that in as you can see it auto filled in search now i have a couple of tools that help me decide what keyword i'm shooting for the first tool you'll see here on the right hand side is tubebuddy now you can see what the search volume is of a particular keyword. As you can see, Amazon credit card review is searched 74,000 times per month. And the tool is telling me that the competition is medium and overall a very good keyword to target. Another Google Chrome extension I have is vidIQ. And again, it just tells me the volume that the keyword is searched and the competition. Now, most of the time I just have vidIQ closed and I just use the TubeBuddy extension because it gives me a little bit more data than vidIQ at the moment because I'm not paying for vidIQ. And as you can see, it has more related searches for that particular keyword. And it also will show you tags. Now, I currently have the star membership, which is why I'm able to see the extra data here, but there's also a free version that will give you almost everything that you're seeing right now. Another free keyword research tool is Uber Suggest. So let's type in Amazon credit card review, and you can see that the search volume is 6,600. Scrolling down, it'll give you other keywords that have similar volume or is related. So if you wanna add these into your description or your tags, you'll see they both have an equally high volume. I'll leave links to all the keyword tools I use in the description below. Okay, so now that you have all of the keyword tools, how do you start the process? All right, so let's go back to my home screen. Okay, so let's say I wanna do a review of the Amazon credit card. So I'm just gonna go on YouTube and begin typing that in. So Amazon, so nothing shows up yet. So type in credit card. Okay, so as you can see, the first autofill option is Amazon credit card review. So I'm just gonna go down the list and see which one is most worth targeting. So if I click on that, you'll see the data that I mentioned before on TubeBuddy, and you'll also see the data on vidIQ. Again, I'm just gonna have vidIQ closed off for this particular video. So let's, let's go into my video here and see what I did. Okay, so as you could see, I have Amazon credit card review as the first word in my title. And as you can see, that is the keyword that I'm trying to target. I also have a secondary keyword that I'm trying to target. If I search this on YouTube, Amazon credit card website, as you can see, it is an overall good keyword to target. Now it doesn't show me how many people are searching for this term, probably because there isn't enough data. But for me, I knew it was a good keyword to target because as soon as I type in Amazon credit card, hit space, I was just scrolling through all the particular options and I knew no one else was making a video relating to the Amazon credit card website. So if I type that in, website autofills here, I know it adds review, but even if you just type in Amazon credit card website review, my video will appear first. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna, want, you wanna have one keyword that you're trying to target in addition to a secondary keyword in the title if possible. 
Now, going back to the actual video, you'll notice that the first line in my video has the keywords that I'm trying to target. And if you hit show more, you'll see that I wrote a very brief two paragraph description of what the video is gonna be like. And within the description, I try to use the keywords I was trying to target as often as possible or related keywords. Like here I used Amazon credit card, Amazon Prime rewards. Again, I just used the word Amazon again. And down here, Amazon credit card website, the keyword I was trying to target. And I also use the hashtags in the video description. Now scrolling down, you'll see my video tags on the right hand side. You'll see that Amazon credit card review will appear as number seven. Now this is, now you can see this through the vidIQ Chrome extension. This is why I like to have both because vidIQ will show me the video rankings that will appear in search. Like I showed you guys earlier, if I just type in Amazon credit card review, it'll rank as number seventh. If somebody just never watched any of my videos, it'll appear as the seventh search result. And as you can see, most of the keywords here will appear on the first page, which I'm pretty happy with. I'm going to have to make an updated video with these particular keywords just to try to rank a little bit higher because at this point in time, I have 8,000 views on this video, which gives my channel some authority with these particular keywords. So. If I make another Amazon credit card review video, then I have a really good chance of it doing well in terms of YouTube search because I already previously made a video about it. And if you look back, so Amazon credit card review, most recent video is a month old and this one was made seven months ago. My video was made five months ago. YouTube also prioritizes newer videos first. Now, that being said, if you make a video about the Amazon credit card review with zero views, it's not gonna place that high. In order for a video to rank a little higher, you need some views on that video, some engagement, and most importantly, watch time. That's why people try to make videos over 10 minutes long because you're able to add in additional ads onto those videos, which in turn makes YouTube slash Google more money, gives them more motivation to boost your videos higher in search, just so they can play more ads, so they can make money, so you can make money. So just to recap, type in the keyword that you want to use on the YouTube search and target keywords that autofill because most of the time if people are searching from things, they'll just hit the autofill option. Make sure that the keyword is actually searched a decent amount and the competition is medium to low and overall a good keyword to target. Make sure you add the keywords that you're trying to target in the beginning of your YouTube title in addition to the first line of your YouTube description. Make sure you write a paragraph describing your YouTube video, incorporating your keyword that you're trying to target as often as possible. And again, make sure you tag your videos properly and try to use that keyword as often as possible and add in the autofill options into your video tags. All right, so let me show you guys what I did with the video that you guys are currently watching. So as you can see, this is going to be my title of the video, how to rank YouTube videos fast in 2020 dash YouTube SEO tips. Now the two main words I'm trying to target is how to rank YouTube videos in addition to YouTube SEO. All right, so let's do a search for how to rank YouTube videos. Okay, so I just searched how to rank YouTube videos. As you guys could see, 6,000 searches per month, and this is a relatively poor word to target. However, as you guys notice, I have fast in addition to the current year, which is 2020. So if I just go up to the search bar, you'll see that how to rank YouTube videos 2019 appeared. So naturally, now it's 2020, 2020 is going to be a viable keyword to target. So as you can see, people are already trying to target this keyword and it is in fair status. So if I just go back and type in how to rank YouTube videos, you'll also see how to rank YouTube videos fast comes up as an autofill option. So let's click on that. And as you can see, this keyword is searched over 2000 times a month, almost 3000. So I'm targeting multiple keywords with just the first phrasing of this title here. 
So that is my target that hopefully I'll land for one of those or a related YouTube video to that particular topic. Now the second keyword I'm trying to target is YouTube SEO. You'll see that this particular keyword is searched 128,000 times per month and it is a poor keyword to target. I'm going after this keyword because my channel has previous videos talking about this particular topic and I do believe that I could potentially do well or at least land in one of the recommended videos to these particular videos. Now I typed in YouTube SEO and you'll see that YouTube SEO 2020 is also an option and that's going to play on my full title here of YouTube SEO with 2020 in the title. So this is in fair status. Now, if I just type in YouTube SEO tips, you'll see again, look at the dates of all these videos, two years ago, three years ago, 10 months ago. So this is a good ideal time to try to target these keywords because these videos are over a few years old, but they have amazing views. Look at this, almost a million views here, almost 300,000 views here. And this particular person has been changing the titles. You'll see this was uploaded two years ago. However, they changed the title to 2020. Now, this is because this particular video already has established watch time and it's probably a good video and it's a timeless video. Everything he talked about in this video probably still applies today. So that's what I did in regards to the title. You'll see my first few lines of the description. I retyped the title. However, I changed it to more of a sentence. How to rank YouTube videos fast to get more views in 2020 and I added the secondary text, get more views on your YouTube videos with YouTube keyword tools. So you'll see all these words relate to my general overall topic, which is showing you guys how to get more views on YouTube by ranking your videos higher. So I also added a snippet here, just talking about how to rank your YouTube videos higher by using the keywords I'm trying to target. Here you'll see YouTube SEO, rank YouTube videos higher, fast, YouTube search, all the, word, all the words I'm choosing is related and backing up my title. And down here, talking about being a YouTuber, talking about getting my YouTube videos ranked higher through YouTube and Google searches, and then talking about YouTube SEO tips, YouTube keyword research. And here I link all of the YouTube keyword tools that I talked about in this video. And again, just utilizing the keywords SEO, YouTube keyword research in addition to using hashtag YouTube SEO SEO and this should be video SEO I'm not sure why I didn't save just because I noticed that this is a particular good word to target as well If I copy and search that onto YouTube, you'll see that this particular phrase is searched 46,000 times a month. So that's why I wanted to add that in there. I also added video SEO as a tag at the bottom so you'll see how I tag my videos, how to rank your YouTube videos, YouTube SEO, and just repeating all of that just to give this video good metadata. When I titled my thumbnail, basically gave an easy phrase that people could read, something really eye-catching. As you can see, this is just a video I have unlisted on my YouTube channel just to test out thumbnails. In addition to, if you scroll down at the very bottom, you'll see that TubeBuddy has this feature where you could search tags, you could just hit this little plus button and it'll add that particular tag to your video up here. And also you could sort it by score. You'll see that these are the keywords that vidIQ thinks could potentially do well on your videos. Now this is a paid feature. I didn't use all of these tags because I already knew which ones I wanted to target based off of YouTube autofill. And that is all the data I have on this particular video. So if you have any additional questions, feel free to Leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.